upgrade your design portfolio by stealing these UI UX techniques from a creative studio. And welcome to the Ready Designer One channel, monopo.vn. Now you should check this out. And I've been browsing a lot of agency websites, creative studios, design portfolios, because later in the video, I'm going to share a product that I've been working on in Framer. This is actually not about the, the visuals, but as you scroll down, and I've shared this in a previous video, but when you scroll, let's go and check out one of their one of their case studies. So let's go into this one. So what a very subtle thing there is you got the branding that you just saw for a brief moment. And as we scroll down, now you might not notice this in a lot of websites or a lot of uh, design portfolios or creative studios. So here they're showing the case study, they're showing a lot of images. And then as you scroll down, you've got this beautiful, like full height, nearly full height footer image of the next case study. So what you usually get is you just get, you get related case studies or two case studies previous and next. But I think this is just super, super smooth, super focused onto the next case study. And that, that's kind of what encouraged me to go to the next project. Again, you've got a very subtle um, branding. The other nice thing about this is just super minimal because they want the user to focus on the article or the case study. And all you have here is back. So just to share the product that I've been working on, this is a framer template for design portfolios. So a very similar experience I've incorporated where I got the cursor change. And let's go into this, which is my very first template I created called Sabang. So again, here we got a very subtle experience. And then when we scroll down, you've got all the images. And what I've done on purpose is I haven't put, put too much text. You can explain about the project here, but mainly you're going to focus on the visuals. And then when you scroll to the bottom, what I've done, I've got a full height uh, footer, and then you go to the next case study. So I think this is utilizing the UI UX of the Monopo experience, which I think is just super smooth. So let me know in the comments, what do you think about these UI UX techniques from a creative studio? And would you apply this to your own design portfolio? And I'll see you in the next video.